action here from the Broad Street Ballroom, and it's ladies first. For the introductions to our first bout, we send it up to our ring announcer, Connor Hall. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Friday Night Fights. Tonight's event features an all-star card of matchups, including an ISK Bay ISK title bout. Our co-main event tonight is between two men named Omar, hailing from Jacksonville, Florida, Omar Lee, and making his second appearance back in the ring after a long hiatus, Omar Estevez. Then, our main event will be an East Coast, West Coast war that will not disappoint between Jeffrey Then and Eric Luna. Tonight's event is brought to you by the Tourism Authority of Thailand, Mohegan Sun Resort and Casino, CW Distributing, Bear Burger, Recovery NYC, Recover NYC, The Prep Life, Pure Platonics, and Super Rare Fight Goods. All this evening bouts will be sanctioned by the ISKA. Representative Tom Sconzo is in attendance. Repping tonight's fight will be Kevin Mulhall and Justin Greskiewicz. Judging Marcel Varela and Mohamed Ahmed, Alexius Phoenix and James B52 Smith. Inspecting will be Sam Honig, Daylon Samort, Abley Lopez, and Casey Rodriguez. Keeping time, Leo Rodriguez keeping score, Casey Dong. Doctors at ringside, Dr. Mert Aragal and Dr. Jose Cabasso. And now, without any further ado, the reason why we are all here tonight. Fighting out of the red corner. She's wearing the black trunks and weighing in at 126 pounds. She represents the Watt with a record of four and one. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Gemma, the Dilemma Fleming. All right, now to remind you, this is gonna be five rounds of action out of the 125 week class. Fighting out of the blue corner, she's wearing the green trunks and weighing in at 124 pounds. She works out at Henzo Gracie with a record of nine and three from right here in New York City, Danielle Ryan. Okay, you've both been given your rules. I want a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Defend yourself at all times. If I tell you to break, break clean. You understand? Do you understand? Touch gloves, come out fighting. We are set for action here live from New York City on Friday Night Fights, brought to you by Mohegan Sun Resort and Casino. Here's looking at Gemma the Dilemma Fleming, and that is Danielle Rind. These two women set to do battle at 125 pounds, scheduled for five two-minute rounds of full rules Muay Thai and a right hand to open things up for Danielle Rind. Ari Elagami ringside at the Broad Street Ballroom with Jason Strout, the head coach at Church Street Boxing Gym, just a few blocks from where we are right now. Danielle Rind in the green and silver trunks taking on Gemma the Dilemma Fleming in all black. Yeah, Rind keeps going after that lead leg, trying to chop it down and maybe take some momentum out of her opponent. Dumping Fleming down to the canvas in the early going here, and a big push kick sends Gemma backwards again. Good knees up the middle by Rin. They really put a good game plan together over at Henzo Gracie. Muay, they have a really solid Muay Thai team, and, and Joe does a really good job of just putting together a fantastic strategy for, for fighting their opponents. Danielle Rins, great coach, Joe Sampieri on the other side. Gemma Fleming's coach, the legendary Phil Nurse. So two outstanding coaches backing these two competitors tonight. The opening bout of our four-bout car, four bout night. A lot of action still coming ahead. It'll culminate with our main event, Eric Luna and Jeffrey then in a five-round professional title bout. Almost Host looked like Rin was faking that right hand. The right kick and landed the right cross over the top. But she ate a left jab from Gemma Fleming and took some more leather up top as well. 
Final 10 seconds of action here in round one. Fleming trying to fire off that elbow in close quarters. Rin trying to do the same. Yeah, Rin did a good job of sneaking that right elbow up the middle. And Danielle proud of herself after a strong first round. Danielle coming in with a mark of nine and three. 31 years of age, originally from Seattle, Washington. Now calls New York City home. On the other side, Gemma Fleming, known as the Dilemma, at four and one, coming into action tonight. Made her Friday Night Fights debut back in December with a split decision win over Jay Salvrieta. Out of your gym, Jason, Church Street Boxing Gym. That's Gemma right there. Thought I recognized her. <laughs> Susan Reno in Gemma's corner as well. She and her husband, Mike, previously fought on Friday Night Fights. Both boxers and Muay Thai practitioners, the Renos. Some good people right there. I've had Susan Reno in the corner before working cuts. She's amazing in boxing, in boxing fights. A deep talent pool, both in terms of fighters and corner personnel coming out of the Watt. Phil Nurse's great gym here in New York. And of course, the same can be said of the Henzo Gracie team on the other side. Good use of that lead leg. Stiff right hand from Gemma Fleming. Sends Danielle Rin backwards into the canvas. I think it just more knocked her off balance. I know. Did catch her right on the chin, though. Those flash knockdowns. Landed it again. Don't necessarily have a big impact, but yeah. Fleming able to follow it up with a solid right. Yeah, Fleming landed two straight right hands in this round already. There it comes again. Another big and right again. hand. Yes, the dilemma becoming just that for Danielle Rendon here in round two. She almost seems like she blinds her with that jab and then shoots that right hand right behind it, nice and straight. The straight punches always get there faster and cleaner. There it is again. Danielle goes low and it's Fleming coming up high. We're scheduled for five two minute rounds at 126 pounds. This is round two here between Gemma Fleming in the black trunks and Danielle Rind in the green and silver. Good strong clinch on the inside by Rind. Danielle on the come, forcing Gemma Fleming back into the corner. Trying to stick in some knees, but Gemma Fleming doing a good job stifling the attack. Skilled defense here by Gemma Fleming. Round two winding down. She's all over in the clinch. Kevin Mulhall resets the action. Head kick gets in there for Danielle Rind. But Gemma Fleming counters with the right hand right at the end of that second round. So back and forth we go here in this battle between these two women. Danielle Rind looking for her 10th win. Gemma Fleming looking for her fifth. Still to come, three more big fights. Up next, we'll see Kamar Lindsay take on Chris Tapia. That's sure to be an absolute firefight. After that, Omar Estevez makes his long-awaited return to the Friday Night Fights ring. It's been four years since we've seen him on this promotion. We cannot wait to have him back. He runs his own gym in Stamford, Connecticut. But tonight, he represents his old stomping ground, Sita Gym in Astoria, Queens. He'll take on another Omar, Omar Lee, out of Jacksonville Muay Thai. And finally, our main event to cap things off, Jeffrey then and Eric Luna for the vacant ISKA Pro Muay Thai 135 pound title. Yeah, I'm looking forward to watching Omar fight again. Omar Estevez, that is. I really enjoyed watching him fight back when he was active. It's been an important night for the Seton family. We'll get into that a little bit later in the show. But right now, business to attend to between the two combatants in the ring. Gemma, the dilemma Fleming on the attack against Danielle Rin. Danielle tries the up elbow. Yeah, she sneaks those elbows in there very nice. And almost like she starts working the clinch, you know, arm fighting and the knees, and then she just sneaks the elbows up on the inside almost when your opponent forgets about them. Nice push push kick. Kick. Yes, up high for Danielle. <laughs> Fleming trying to crowd her. 
forcing her way in. Yeah, Fleming just put herself, sorry. Rin puts herself in a good position there in the clinch. Uses that head on the inside to control her opponent's head. And really, really has dominant control in the arm fight. Both women want to exchange elbows. Neither does much damage. Fast right kick. I can see Fleming throw that right hand again. She had success with that in the previous round. And she kind of got away from it. This is the third of a scheduled five between Rind and Fleming. We're live from New York City's Broad Street Ballroom on Friday Night Fights, the longest running Muay Thai series in North America. First of our four big battles taking place here. Rind tried to unload it with an elbow, but Fleming ducked backwards out of the way. Push kick from Danielle into the midsection. Head kick. Good cross kick combination. Rin a little more active in this third round. A little more successful. Final seconds of this third round. And a good one for Danielle Rind out of Henzo Gracie. Been a good fight so far, Jason. Shot back and yeah, forth. Definitely a very entertaining fight. Both women have had good moments here in this fight. Here's some of the action from round three. And Danielle able to get those legs extended. Yeah, follows up that kick nicely after that punch. Just a little bit busier than Gemma in that just round. Just a little bit, yeah. She just, and she'd always work an angle. She's stepping left and right and kind of keeping Fleming on her toes and doesn't give her a chance to set her feet to throw that right hand again. There we go again. She throws the push kick to keep her on the outside. And those quick little side steps that Rind is doing. Like I said, it, it just keeps Fleming off balance. She doesn't get a chance to kind of set her feet and throw any kind of offense. Great replay action from our outstanding Friday Night Fights production team. Appreciate all their hard work as we bring you the sights and sounds from New York City. Danielle Rind looking for what would be a 10th victory in her career. Gemma, the dilemma Fleming on the other side looking for win number five and a push kick try from Danielle to open things up in round four. Rind goes low on Fleming. And she throws that right kick from a lot of different angles. Steps forward with it. Throws it from a southpaw stance. Throws it from a right-handed stance. Strong in the clinch, too. Rin forcing Gemma Fleming back towards the ropes. I mentioned Danielle, a native of Seattle, Washington. Gemma Fleming also from Washington State. Hails from Port Orchard originally, but now also calls New York home. So a couple of Northwest women going at it here. Northwest weather outside today, isn't it? Yes. Chilly and rainy. <laughs> <laughs> they tried to escape it, but they could not. And now these two women cannot escape each other either. Either Continued clinch work from Rind and Fleming. As Rind and Fleming try to chop down on each other's heads with elbows. Rind goes up high with the right leg. Switching up with the left now. Rin switching stances here. Good clinch work from both women here. Rin trying to bully her way forward. Yeah, Rin's got her arm on the inside of Fleming, kind of dominating the clinch, not letting her get her arm off. There he goes, sneaks that elbow up the inside. You can see she's got it on the inside, so she's always in position to fire that elbow up the middle. Rin trying to unload with the knees. Push kick down the middle into the midsection of Gemma Fleming. Yeah, Brynn just not letting her get off at all. Danielle walked right through a right hand and again got into Gemma's breadbasket as round four comes to a close. Seems like the last couple of rounds, Rind has, has, last couple of rounds, Danielle Rind has kind of controlled the pace. Yeah, definitely. She's Like I said, she's not letting Fleming get off with anything. She gets a good dominant position in the clinch. Controls her arm, sticks her head under her opponent's chin, and just kind of just controls her and dominates her. Some of the action here from round number four. One round left to decide this bout at 125 pounds. Both women came in a pound over yesterday's weigh-in. Danielle Rind 
Out of the Henzo Gracie Academy, Joe Sampieri coaching her on. On the left side of your screen. She's nine and three entering action tonight. And there, Gemma Fleming with the legendary Phil Nurse in her corner along with Susan Reno, former competitor here on Friday Night Fights. Gemma looking for her second straight win on this promotion. What would be her fifth overall. Round five underway. Rind in the green and silver trunks. She throws that kick and gets off to the left or the right. She does a very good job of that. Fleming wearing black. And potentially with some work to do if she wants to take this one away from Danielle Rin. At least based on the last couple of rounds with a push kick landing again for Danielle. A turned around there. Fleming sees an opening as sweat splatters onto us here at ringside. <laughs> Getting involved in the fight here. I had, to, I had to go to the dry cleaners anyway. No big deal. <laughs> Kevin Mohal breaks up the two women from the neutral corner. This is where we want to see these two right in the center of the ring. Both have a lot of power. One thing about Ooh, Fleming. Snuck that kick up to the side of her head and landed right she, in her neck. She eats the left leg from Danielle Rind, but one thing about Fleming, she has really quite a poker face in there. She Can't, definitely does. Has had the same expression throughout this fight. Can't really tell whether she's under duress or not. Ooh, Big elbow. elbow over the top. Fleming stuck in a nasty elbow right there. But Rind with the good turn. Nice, another elbow by Fleming. Oh, a couple of stiff shots inside by Gemma the Dilemma Fleming. Tries Best the back ball. elbow. <laughs> Got her arm trapped behind her back. Had no leverage there to do it, but she tried it anyway. Yeah, Fleming keeps coming forward. She's going for it. Really good response from Gemma Fleming here in this fifth round. Leading with the elbows now. Final seconds here. Which one of these women can put the final stamp on this five round battle? Last moments of the fight end in a tough clinch. Danielle Rin and Gemma the Dilemma Fleming go all five on Friday Night Fights. A lot of fortitude by both of these women. Big right hand there lands by Fleming on the replay. And that is accompanied by some really stiff elbows later on in the round. Really, really good stuff from both of these young women on Friday Night Fight. Still plenty of action to come, folks, as we await the decision between Rind and Fleming. Up next, it'll be Kamar Lindsay, known as the Young Avatar, formerly known as the Lion, now goes by the Young Avatar out of Arden Sweet Science Gym in Brooklyn. Taking on Chris Tapia, a guy we know well on Friday Night Fights. After that, it'll be Omar versus Omar. Omar Estevez against Omar Lee, and then our main event, Jeffrey Den and Eric Luna for the vacant 135-pound ISKA Pro Muay Thai title. But right here, we await the official decision between Rind and Fleming on our first of our four fights. The fighters are in the center of the ring, and let's go to our ring announcer, Connor Hall. All right, ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds of action, we go to the judge's scorecard. Judge A sees this 47-48. Judge B sees this 46-49. Judge C, 46-49. Unanimously in favor of Danielle Ryan. So the strong fifth round from Jam Gemma the Dilemma Fleming, not enough to unseat Danielle Rind in this fight, Jason Strout. A unanimous decision victory and a really strong performance there, especially basically in the middle of that fight, it was, it was really Danielle Rind in control. Yeah, she was in control the whole fight. Definitely stuck to the game plan that they had and came out the winner tonight. Good moment for the Crew from the Henzo Gracie Academy and Joe Sampieri, Danielle Rind, a winner, improving her record to 10 and 3, while Gemma the Dilemma Fleming falls to 4 and 2. You're watching Friday Night Fights brought to you by Mohegan Sun. So great that we could have you along, folks, no matter where you are around the world, as you take in the latest chapter of the longest running Muay Thai series in North America. And a great applause for Gemma Fleming here. 
as the supporters of the Watt cheer on the dilemma despite the decision loss to Danielle Rin moments ago. My name's Ariel Lagami, Jason Stroud, my broadcast partner here tonight, getting set for our next battle. A five round matchup between Kamar, the young avatar, Lindsay, and Chris Tapia. Chris Tapia, we have not seen him in the Friday Night Fights ring since back in 2017. And